couple of things. Number one, Matt Chapman. Look, we could argue about how good of a ball player he is. I just think on this team, he's their best everyday player. Um, and you could say, Joe, that's not saying much. I just love the way he competes. And him running that thing out and trying to dive into second base, it enabled the situation for Estrada to kind of catch them sleeping with the little bunt there. Small ball. I know every oh, small ball. The data <laughs> tells you. The data tells you what? The data tells you that that's a guy that wanted to put the ball in play and force a team to make a play, field it properly, throw over to first, and he beats the throw, and it's set up the entire inning and so it do was nice to at, see that hold on, real quick do people scoff as small ball really it like, drives it, me crazy why do people scoff at how many you times think? have the giants gotten a third base and small ball so like small right. ball we we, we it's, small it's, ball it's is small like ball. just people think small ball is just a sack bunt meaning i show right. bunt prior and i and i i'm giving myself up small ball is you know, chopping one to second base with a runner on third. Right. Small ball to me is hitting a sack fly like Michael Conforto yeah. did to get someone in. It's not just bunting in a sacrifice situation, right? It's all the little things. And like, even Loveman hit us up. It was first and third. He goes, maybe you send Estrada here. Like, wow, we have actual baseball strategy. Well, it was yeah, great. I, I mean, I don't even call it small ball. I call it baseball. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's just playing baseball. Like, I, I hate when we just start, oh, Bunty is out of the game. Well, Bunty he hurt. Remember the bump from Juan Soto in the ninth inning? Or no, in that Yankee series in the middle innings? The set up Aaron Judge? How about, I mean, bunting is fine. How about the one that we were talking about with Willie McCovey and yeah. Willie Mays where he scored from first? Right. Because it was on turf because they were shifting him so irregularly because Willie Ma Mack yep. used to get shifted like crazy. Like mm -hmm. So that, that's the data boys, okay? You, you, yeah. The data dorks who yeah, have never thrown I... a baseball in their life, which I'm here for certain data as a tool. But I'm sorry. Tagging up. Stealing bases, putting the ball in play, you know, small ball situational hitting. Those things will always win. I don't care how old you are. The best teams well, in baseball execute, and that is a we'll form get, of execution. I, when I think about this team moving forward, and we'll get to the uh we'll get to the other stuff in a second, but last week we were having a show meeting and we were looking at the eighties Cardinals, who used to play that oh, turf under Whitey God. Herzog and Vince Coleman, and you get Whitey Herzog. Uh, managing that team, mm -hmm. but you had Jack Clark, you had Vince Colby, you had Willie McGee, you had Ozzy Smith, you had all that speed. Terry Pendleton, you had all that speed, God, that speed, speed, speed. And they used their ballpark to their advantage, Bush Stadium at the time, with that Astro turf hot. We're going to run, run, run. We're going to run you out the field. We're running you out the yard. They did that for a long time. They won the World Series. They were the league leaders and stolen bases for many, many years. When I look at this ballpark and the Giants and the way their offense is constructed, and I know we want big boppers. And I think you need a big bopper or two in a lineup. Sure. You do. It's 2024. It's 2024. I, I you agree. need a home run. Yeah. But also, it is a little disappointing to see that this yard that has these big gaps, these big alleyways, right center and left center, that you don't try to get a team that, you know, that you put emphasis on speed. So your one, two, three hitters, like even one, two. Can I get a Juan Pierre and Luis Castillo in a one-two spot where there's still he bases left and right and putting so much pressure on the defense and you got so much traffic on the base pass? I think the Giants' philosophy offensively, if the yard's going to be tough and yeah. hitters are going to complain about yeah. hitting home runs in his bar, and you see Solaire with runners on, two runners on, and he pops right up and he gets all angry, what about getting the team and getting some players offensively that could fit this yard to be five tool players. You're like speaking. I always thought Ichiro would be perfect well, of for course, this yard. But Ichiro is perfect for any yard. One of the yard, greatest but, players but ever. You but I agree saying. with you. Yes. You see the All Star well, game let, inside the park home run. Let me give you an example of a player that I think fits the ballpark better than almost anyone. Luis Arias. I mean, you look at that guy. Oh, Luis Arias from the Padres. Yeah, I always yeah. mispronounce his name. Putting the ball in play all across the field. Right. Yep. If, you have a spacious right center field. You have a spacious left center field. You 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 have dimensions that are going to be cavernous. So, you know, you you can't play right on the line. You got to right. play into that triples gap. To me, contact hitters Look at Melky Cabrera. Yeah. Now, Melky hit more gaps than that. But right. look at Melky Cabrera's half but, season in 2012. That's what I'm that's saying. That's the template. That's the template is doubles and putting the ball in play. Yeah, I, I think the focus, uh, the uh, philosophical focus offensively should be focused on a little more speed because, again, the Cubs were trying to run left and right yesterday. There's The, the, the book's out on the Giants. Teams are going to run. Crow They're going to run, 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 run. He's got a lot of speed. Oh he really goodness. beat out the grinder last week at Wrigley Field. Um this team has so much. So you got to get some speed here. 
Give me some speed. Yeah. Give me some athleticism and less focus. <laughs> By the way, the best news of the day to me was Elliot Ramos lifted a curse, baby. Thank three God. for four. Thank three God. for four with the walk great yesterday. Great at-bats. Four, yeah, four at, yeah. great at-bats. He touched base yeah. four times in five plate appearances. Well, uh, so, you know, it's interesting you keep bringing up speed because, you know, Lubman and I were doing the Garlic Fries and Baseball Guy podcast, and he starts talking about, we're talking about solo bases and how the Giants don't have any, and, and they're giving up a bunch. And I was thinking, like, greatest – stolen base guys for the Giants in our life. And I started rattling off names and I'm sure you're going to, and you could listen to the podcast if you want to hear me rattle them off, but I want to hear you rattle off. Do you know, and I put it out on Twitter, I'm sure you saw the tweet. Who's the last guy to steal 30 bags for the Giants? For the Giants? Last guy to steal 30 bags for the Giants? 30. Wow. It's got to be 20 years ago. Dave Roberts, 2007. Yep. He was so, 35 years 17 old. 17 years ago. 35 years old. 17 years ago. So, 18 years ago. Basically, it was Darren Lewis, yep. Brett, Butler, Brett Butler, Bonds, and Dave Roberts. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And Barry Marvin did Bernard it like five did times. What, did, what, did, what was Pagod's career high with the Giants? That I don't know. But uh, I, I was Pagod, going down, the, I was going down the rabbit hole. Pagod brought some speed to the table. I know Estrada stole about 26 a couple years ago. Um, but that was when he was fully healthy. And uh, again, I just, no one is oh, saying. Oh, yeah, Angel Pagan, 29 and 2012. 29, so he just so missed he just it. Missed there you it. Go. Pagan has some speed. He was like, to me, he was like our last prototypical, I'm going to get on base and I'm going to threaten you by taking this big lead mm -hmm. and pitchers are going to be stressed he and throw it over to first base. So he was fun. But he that was, was a, a great example about. of a player. I don't know if he plays in Yankee Stadium, but I no. know he plays in a, in like, this in ATT, he was perfect. In this yard, Wasn't he? absolutely. So I, I just don't get the philosophical approach anymore about this ballpark. If you're not going to be able to track sluggers like Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani or John Carlos Stanton and Bryce Harper, they're going to complain about the yard being too too big for them, even though they make it look small with the way they swing the bat. Um, then get me some guys. Get me some guys that could get the first to third. Now, I love Matt Chapman in the hustle double. In the hustle double. We've seen that a few times this year with Matt Chapman. He goes all out. But give me some guys one through nine that got a little speed yeah. that can run first to third, first to home, and play to – Use your park as an advantage. Agreed. The Giants, for whatever reason, I don't know what the hell Farhan is constructed, but look, they get a win. Drew Smiley, 13 years in the league. X Giant. X Giant in 2012. <laughs> I mean, what's Craig Council doing? Uh, well, he did, went to the lefty, did, turned not, Patrick Bailey around, and next thing you know, there's two more righties on deck, and all these faces is righties. I, what I don't understand is why didn't they go to their closer? They just not trust him? I, I'm not an initiated Cubs fan. Nah, Darius so, has been bad. Yeah, I mean, it's just. I don't know the whole thing, the whole sequencing was was crazy and you know Solaire had an opportunity to come through in the inning prior you know it's um yes. I'm glad that they won the game they snapped the streak but I, I would just say to all the Giants fans out there like look we all love this team and we want them to be good we do like I I do believe like I I, I think you want them to be good I want them to be good I want something to talk about every do, single do day people think that we don't want them to be good well I just think that oh yeah you guys complain and well, my theory is well, like look man listen man, what I'm watching is is I watch two thoroughly mediocre crummy teams basically slap fight each other yesterday and the Cubs are like here you take it you you, you take the win we're we're just gonna walk you right into home plate you know. I don't know if fans think that. Hey, you know, Buddy Ali from uh, NBC Sports, he's a digital manager. And, you know, I sent out a tweet. I sent out a tweet or something, or I forget what it was about. Maybe it was Stephen A., whatever, because my girl comes in at halftime. She goes, Stephen A. is always yelling. He's always yelling. It's like, damn, he's always yelling. He's yelling at the halftime show about something. It's like, yeah, he yells a lot. And then somebody, I tweeted it out, and Ali responded with like, huh. It's just like you and Butch are always yelling at each other. It's like, if you listen to this show four hours a day for 20 hours a week, number one, we don't yell at each other no. all the time. I don't think we've yelled at each other quite a while. We may have some disagreements. Yeah. may get tense, but it's not yelling. Yeah, and you might want to slap me. No, I never want to slap you. Trust <laughs> me. I'm not, I'm not about the physical violence. Like, so My have bad. Some, My I'll bad, have somebody, I'll bad. have somebody do that for me yeah, there you uh, go. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> number two. that man. Wow. Okay. Oh, dude. Yeah, there Number we go. two. Thank you. Hey, hey, look, I get why Jock Peterson now didn't slap Tommy Fan back. I went down a deep rabbit hole with Tommy Fan a oh. few weeks ago. Yeah, I, I get it. Tommy Fan, <laughs> he's got a CVS receipt of reasons why <laughs> yes. you would want to mess with yes. him. Yes, he told you. I trade all summer, so I'm prepared to beat somebody's ass. And trust me, we know Tommy Fan. Maybe you should prepare to like swing <laughs> off a tee and be ready to hit. <laughs> right. But the thing Just about complaining, but the thing about complaining, right? If they think that, and I don't know this because I don't look at all the stuff on Twitter anymore. 
I, I, I've really cut back on it. I've tried to stay away from disagreements because I get it. People try to gain clout off of our name and they want to get attention and they get a little buzz and they get a little drafting. kick out of it. They get a little kick out of it. Drafting like in Fast and the Furious. Yeah, yeah you know, they, they get a little they kick out nitrous. of it. You know, but but if you listen to the show, you will realize that. Go ahead, Spino. Go ahead, say, say what you want to say. say. No, no, go say. ahead. Say what you want to no, say. No, 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 no. Say what you're going to say. You're going to whisper in his ear. Go ahead, say. No, no, I thought you guys were talking about the, the Tokyo Drift movie, but I understood. <laughs> but there you go. No. You could go Tokyo Drift. It's actually not wrong, as bad. Wrong, wrong racing movie. Wrong, wrong. It was still part put of the a, same put franchise. Put a bookmark in this. You're either Fast and Furious in or Fast and Furious out. We were going to talk about this in a minute. We're a Keep family going. here at 95.7 The Game. We'll just say that. Um, I live with these people. I love these people. Morning, They're part of my family. Hey, look, look, I don't love everybody here. <laughs> and I don't think everybody said, oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But no, if you didn't Stop listen to it. the show and people say, all you guys do is complain about the Giants. No, we're looking for reasons. We're looking for solutions or trying to fix the Giants. I'm dying to want to complaining. Them. If we're complaining about losing, yes, I'm going to complain about losing. I don't like losing. I don't like watching my teams lose. So, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to look for solutions. And right now, the solution isn't Luke Jackson, for crying out loud. The, the solution isn't going to the opener. The solution isn't having two starting pitchers. Eric Miller has started as many games as Blake Snell. Eric Miller, by the way, is your high leverage lefty yeah. out, of, out of the bullpen. <laughs> He's your late inning lefty. He has started as many games as Blake Snell. Six. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, look, we're not complaining. Nobody's complaining. We just if you're okay with this type of baseball, then they're gonna be okay with it and you're gonna be happy with mediocrity. Well, here's what I would say to you, and I put it out on the internet yesterday, and, and I've asked Lubman this question for what feels like three years. You tell me, and without being sarcastic, without giving me, you know, oh, they're good at breaking even, which are they're all funny replies. What does this regime hang their hat on? What do they do well? Right? When I look at the best industry uh, uh, leaders, whether it's Apple, Google, Android, like pick who you want, whatever industry, okay? They hang their hat on something, right? Like Apple is, we're gonna, we're gonna put out products that you can only mm -hmm. use with other Apple products, and it's cool to be in the cool kid group with the right. Apple product stuff, right? Uh, when I see Android stuff, they're like, no, 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 we have the fastest processors, we have the best stuff, it's it's half the price of Apple products, and you know, whatever. Like, everyone has their thing. Amazon, we will deliver to you literally the next day yep. anything you want, and we're gonna slash prices, right? I know what it, when I go into Safeway, I know what I'm getting. When I go get Nike whatever shoes, you know, shirt, there's a level of quality I expect. The Jordan brand. All these things hang their hat on something. And that's why they're successful. The Yankee brand. I know exactly what they hang their hat on. We have sluggers and we're going to spend big in free agency. We're going to swing on trades and we're also going to develop. When I think of the Tampa Bay Rays, we are going to draft and develop and we're going to sign shrewdly and we're going to make under the radar moves. Milwaukee Brewers, Cleveland Guardians. These are teams that also do it the Tampa Bay way. Atlanta, we are going to swing trades, but we're going to develop our own, sign them to big deals. We're going to have our little core. We're going to run with them. The Golden State Warriors, hey, ball movement, Steph Curry. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. it's pretty straightforward. What do the Giants hang their hat on in six years as an organization? Well, it's something we've been talking about for, it feels like, the last three, four or five years. So ever since 2021, what is your identity? Well, the identity for a long time is we're going to be smarter than you by platooning and playing the matchups and using the numbers. That was their identity, is to win the matchup on the on on, on the computer. We're gonna play, we're gonna play baseball on a computer. Oh, the numbers say this guy's better than against this is why you see Austin Slater, right? Best oh, he hits left, he's the best in the league. He's gonna platoon the bat lead off. Platooning, 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 and then duct taping the pitching staff together saying, oh, we could win the matchups and we're going to do it our way by using the opener. We're not going to go with the traditional starting rotation. If it works out, great. If they get hurt, whatever. We go to the bullpen and whatnot. That's their identity. And it's not good enough. And a lot of people here don't like that identity. That is their identity. No doubt. They haven't come out and said it. No doubt. But for six years, they've come out and told me by putting the team together I, on the, I, on the field agree. that that is their identity. So... Again, I'm not going to get outraged right now about the Giants. They just lost five in a row. They get a win. 
Whatever. We'll see what it. We'll see well, what I'm it looks like tonight. They stopped the losing streak. Right. They stopped the losing streak. Great. But they did. The Cubs gave them the game. I mean, the Cubs suck. <laughs> the Cubs gave them the game. I mean, you you've watched them. The Cubs stink. The Giants stink. These are two stinky teams staring at each other like the Spider Man meme. Yeah. I mean, they're 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 mediocre. But the Cubs five games under five hundred. Giants five games under five hundred. Trying to find their way. I, they are who they are. But I do before the break. Nice little tribute to Willie Mays. I don't know why I was expecting a little more. I was too. Um, I don't it was know on why. a Monday night. Yeah. It was on a Monday night. I know Kruk and Kipe did their thing. Flip said some he said Flip's some great things. Great. Um, Bonds, Bonds being out yeah. there, Mario Alioto yeah. and Larry Murph. Bear, Murph, uh, uh, Mays' son, of yeah. course. He, he was who, out uh, there. By the way, we didn't talk about it. I thought Mays' son said one of the more eloquent. Again, I don't know what people believe in spiritually, but when he Michael said. Michael Mays, yeah. When he said last week at Rickwood, yeah. I know he can hear you. Yeah. And when everyone was chanting, that's just Let him hear you. Soul, yeah, dude. no, that was big time. That was Michael big time. Mays, he just hit Michael you. Michael Mays was soul. good. But I, was, I don't know why.